Well, hello there. I'm Necro13, and if you can tell by the back catalog of videos, I mainly make videos about anti-tubers and most of the very insane things that they say, and in the future I plan to make a little bit more positive content. There are times when I do fly off the handle a little bit, but it's just sometimes a little hit and miss. But other than that, I'm a pretty easy person to approach, and one thing that I do like to do is play video games in my off time when I'm not at work or, you know, having the seasonal depression. But outside of that, I do watch a fair bit of anime. I haven't kept up with anything recently, but I'm pretty sure that most of it's still good. But we're always here to talk about it. And pretty much that would be the intro if I were to actually meet any of you in real life. But unfortunately, we're tied to the shackles that are known as YouTube, so I have to be a little bit more formal. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing today, is how to communicate with your fellow internet goers. And for some reason, the funny man that people tell me that I should watch and think that is extremely funny, said something that is almost blatantly untrue. And it's mainly about you. Anime has become a popular subculture and it's never been easier to discuss and express your love for your favourite shows with other people. But as fun as that is, there's always been one massive downside to interacting with fellow anime fans. Is it that they very rarely shower when they go to conventions or that they do questionable things in the bathroom stalls? All of these things are true and they are not exclusive to anime fans, sure, but mainly from the conventions that I've went to, this is very, very close to home. Interacting with fellow anime fans. Huh. That's such a bold statement. But yet it's so vastly incorrect. Discussing anime online may seem like a harmless activity, as from the outside, the anime community looks welcoming to everyone, whether you're young or old, male or female, straight or LGBT JoJo fan. However, online anime discourse can be a toxic landscape, and navigating it incorrectly may put you at risk of causing a bigger nuclear fallout since Hiroshima, Chernobyl, and pissing off the BTS fanbase. Now, I'm not one to defend people that I don't really know like that, but... From most discourse that I see on anything like Twitter, I know, the best place ever. Don't worry, Elon. Daddy Elon. Look it, I'm right here. But anyways, the whole point that I'm making is that people are generally pretty okay with whatever you watch. It's only in the very fringe case that someone actually likes a thing like anime, and they don't try to use it for clout by saying how annoying every weeb is. And we've seen these same tweets just recycled almost every week. Nothing changes on the online discourse except for stupid people rolling into the cycle. But have no fear, I'm here to break down everything you need to know to give you a survival guide to the etiquette of discussing anime online. So follow this guide and maybe one day you'll reach your final form like me, and unlock the secrets of dual wielding. Now before we get any further into the video, I want people to understand something very clear. I know that Gigguk is supposed to be the funny man, and he's one of the last anti-tubers on the face of the earth. The other ones have went to go do something a little bit different, which is perfectly fine. I plan to do the same myself. But to make the most unfunniest thing I've ever seen, subjectively, I, I just don't see why you would think that other people need to, you know, think that that's how people are. I, I don't know. Weebs aren't even this annoying. They're not this annoying. Lesson one. Your taste is shit. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I really don't care what random person on the internet thinks about me watching anime and what my favorite anime are. And the sooner that you come to accept it, I think we can all move forward as a society. According to other anime fans, since the dawn of the first weebs, anime fans have tried to prove that they are superior to their fellow anime fans, and thus their default state of communication is to shit on each other's taste. If you hate a show, you don't know what good anime is. If you like a show, you're not liking the right anime. If you think a show is just okay, well, you might as well have just pissed on someone's grave. Bro, I don't even update my anime list because it's just kind of arbitrary and worthless. And anybody that thinks that the more that you watch somehow makes you an expert, I mean, sure, you can be labeled as that, but people are picky and they don't have time to sit down and consume every single show that comes out every single season. In fact, that's why I stopped watching anime almost entirely. I just don't have the time that I used to. And in the off chances that I do have some time, I go back and I rewatch the classics. You know, back when anime was fun and interesting. And now it's just... Booba. And that's not to say that having Booba is a bad thing. I think it's an excellent thing. 
In fact, I'm probably going to pick up some newer ones here really soon. But again, I don't have to care what other people on the internet think about what I watch. I don't need to have the validation of watching a TV series made for Japanese people on my little iPhone. It doesn't matter what they think. I don't know. And if you have someone that hates you for it, then I guess sucks to suck. Anime fans have found many ways to express their taste publicly, from lists to 3x3s to more recently tier lists, not realizing that this is just an open invitation into an active war zone. Now, I'm going to be moving into assumption territory, and I know what assumptions do, it makes an ass out of you and me, but this is just an assumption that I have. People do these weird tier lists and these 3x3s, I think it's a form of validation. My anime list, not so much because you can kind of just, you know, keep everything chronicled and then it makes sense. But to rate something and then send it out to everyone else so that way they can take a look and then be, I guess, you know, happy for you that you, you know, think that one show was higher than another. I guess that's a thing, but it doesn't do much. It's just validation from your peers, which is not inherently a bad thing, but that's just why it happens. I'm just pointing this out as a thing that exists, but it's not so much that you would need to uh, worry about what other people on the internet think about how shit your tastes are. I'm sorry, I know you're a part of the Trash Taste podcast and haha funny meme, but it's not like that. People, real people in the, the real world, they don't do that. They They are pretty nice to each other, except if you're on the internet, then it gets a little sketchy, but it's not the minefield you think it is. These things may look like a blank canvas to express your taste so you can be Leonardo da Vinci, but really, you're just proving to everyone that you're Leonardo Degenerate. Oh, but King Huck, it's 2022 now, isn't it time we come to accept people's varied tastes in anime and allow people to enjoy what they want? No. That was the video version of Mucho Texto. If anime fans worked together, they have the potential to build a wonderful utopian society free of judgments and boundaries. But that would mean giving in and allowing Jimmy over here to think Meliodas is a likeable protagonist. Weebs would rather live in a state of mutually assured destruction than accepting each other's taste. I mean, you can speak for yourself. I think that most of the people that are in the anime community have been pretty accepting of others. I think that in a very fringe case that might happen, but I don't know where you're getting these ideas from. If you leave the scope of maybe Twitter.com and r slash anime on Reddit, maybe you might get a little bit more of a finger on the pulse. Besides, it's not your job to watch anime. It's your job to tell people that they should watch anime. That's why you're employed by a company called Geeks Plus along with the other anti-tubers. Saying things like Mecha is dead is definitely not on the pulse of the average anime viewer. In fact, it's the opposite. Now, I could go into a whole different rant about that, but instead I'm just going to focus on this instead of going off into a tangent about something that we already know that you're just wrong about. This is the foundation the community is built on, which is why it's always socially acceptable to clown on weebs, especially if you're a weeb. So remember, the first lesson about having an opinion on anime is... Don't. You know, in a very strict and boiled down way, you should not have an opinion on anime if you've only been watching shonen shit. I'm sorry, but I don't care to know that other anime before this used to be good, like Dragon Ball Z and Bleach and Naruto and One Piece, but there's other shows that exist, and I'm not going to watch the same shonen shit with the exact same type of protagonist a million times. Just figure it out and watch something else. Those opinions are invalid. I'll die on that fucking hill. But of course, watching anime isn't the only way to get in touch with your weeb side, as you can also start getting into Japanese culture, like the snack culture. Which brings me to my friends over at Boxu. D don't worry, you guys can go to his video and watch the ad read, so you can get some of those probably expensive treats. I don't know, I, I generally when, when I get something like that in my inbox, I just, I, I don't know, it's pretty expensive. And I like to be a little bit more conservative when it comes to the wallet. So you can go there if you want to get a good deal, I guess. But, you know, who am I? Back to talking about anime fans, because if you must get involved with them. Lesson two, not all anime fans are built the same. Okay, this is going to sound super stupid of me to say, but are you implying that all anime fans are special little snowflakes? 
Your interaction may vary greatly depending on which corner of the anime fandom you find yourself in. Now that anime has gotten popular, the safest place to find refuge is to blend in with the functional members of society who just happen to casually dabble in anime. They don't care if Saitama can beat Goku or if Luffy is a better protagonist than Gon, they're just here for the fun, so you don't need to worry about anything. Most people, if not everyone at my job, they, they don't know that I watch anime. They, they don't know that I don't watch anime. In fact, it's probably the last thing that comes up, and if it does happen to appear, then I just hide my power level, uh, unironically. But just, just trust me, it's all the terminology. But I have to make sure that they don't understand who I am on the internet, because um, not because of the big titty waifus that I retweet, but more because I just don't want to talk about anime with them. I just don't want to subject myself to that and have that common ground with my co-workers. However... Every smart argument always has a however in it, most of the time. This time it's going to be absolutely stupid. Ask yourself, what can we discern from an individual who says they enjoy games, Marvel movies, liked Game of Thrones until the last season, and is watching Demon Slayer? That's right, absolutely fucking nothing. The downside to doing this is potentially coming off as bland, cause the only thing worse than having shit taste is having no taste. Unless of course your taste is shown in anime. Well I will be the first to admit that I'm not a huge fan of shonen anime or shonen anime fans, but I think that there's an appropriate time and place to shit on them, and unfortunately, even as civil as I want to be, you're gonna go ahead and do the job for me, so go ahead Mr. Giguk. Tell everybody how funny you are while you shit on that whole corner of the internet. I'll be here waiting. Within the anime fandom, there is no community more loud, more confrontational than shonen fans. People may say that shonen fans arguing over which show is superior is akin to monkeys throwing poop at each other, but that might be an unfair comparison. For the monkeys. Listen, Giguk fans, Giguk friends, if you're watching my video, just know that I'm, I'm just kind of being a little bit neutral in this. You know, I have a little jab here and there, but... Boy, Gigguk's really fucking you guys up. He's really beating your ass. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I guess just go ahead and enjoy the ride while he shits on you a little bit more. This is because shonen fans view their lives as a battle anime and are always ready for a fight. As such, they've even developed their own attacks to bring as much damage to any opposing takes they need to confront, such as the word mid. Mid is short for middle, but is used as a powerful counter against any and all other opinions about anime. Not content with simply saying other shows are bad, shonen fans have somehow found a way to weaponize mediocrity. You see, I'm all for laughing at the weebs when they do something, you know, strange I guess is the way I'm gonna put it, but Gigguk has somehow found a way to make sure that he shits on every weeb, not just you, but all of the people that you know. I don't have to really do anything, Gigguk's already sitting here just making the entire case for me, so what job do I have here other than to just sit and laugh and make fun of it? I mean, listen, I don't really care about the uh, discourse within the anime fandom because I just watch whatever I want to and I block out the shitheads, but for some reason we have to sit here and make an entire video about how antisocial you want to be. I, I get it, like, if you find someone weird then just don't talk to them. Put this shit on an entire fan base. Giguk really is, uh, he's really taking the cake with this one. If someone else thinks a show is good, it's mid. If a show is bad, it's mid. If a show is boring, it's mid. If a show is overhyped, it's mid. Your favorite moment, mid. The characters, mid. Mid is used so often that nobody even knows what mid means anymore, except for the one thing it doesn't mean, which is mid. No, I think they're probably using it, you know, properly every so often. I mean, you know, broken clocks and whatnot, but the definition is right behind your big fucking text that says mid. In fact, I would dare to say that most of my videos are pretty mid. Hopefully they get better. I, I hope that my videos start to feel a little bit better. But after hearing you rant and rave about the weebs, I don't think that that's going to be hard to do. If this sounds daunting to you, there are some simple defense strategies you can use against fans of certain shows in the genre. For example, if you meet a Demon Slayer fan, simply show them this screenshot of Nezko. The sight of cleavage will morally terrify them, and they will not know how to act. If you meet an Attack on Titan fan, simply show them a microsecond of CGI. They will erupt in a fit of rage, and you can use that to escape. If you meet a One Piece fan, simply tell them that Oda is just a normal human being. They will fall into a pit of despair at the realization that their favorite author is 
isn't in fact a deity for foreshadowing the Jelly Donut Island arc 500 episodes ago with a shadow of Luffy's ass. If you meet a Dragon Ball fan, show them any other anime. This will confuse them. If you meet a Seven Deadly Sins fan, simply say, I'm so sorry. You know, there's not a there's not a lot that I can do here. Again, Gigguk has really taken everything out of my hands and gave it to the people and served it on a fucking dish that is ice cold. Because that's exactly how he's wanting to feed you. See, this isn't a case of just anime elitism. This isn't a form anime gatekeeping. And while I agree that gatekeeping is somewhat good to preserve your hobbies and the people that are in it that actually enjoy the thing that they want to be in, I think that making a video like this in a way is just kind of harmful. And I say harmful like to your brain cells, not harmful like your feelings. I think that yes, the, the shonen fandom is a little weird, don't get me wrong, but I don't think that we need to, you know, sit here and harp on it for as long as we have already. And I mean, yeah, you, you gotta you gotta just get away from Twitter. Just get away from it. Go outside, touch some grass. We've been here before for like the past five videos. These are just a few examples, but luckily you won't have to worry as much about interacting with the wider anime community as, for the most part, they are harmless. Idol fans are too busy building a shrine to celebrate a birthday for a girl who doesn't exist. Mecha fans are just happy to find other people who still watch Mecha. You mean one of the largest industries in Japan about robots is struggling to find fans of giant robots. I know that this is, you know, supposed to be like a smart video or a funny video, but I don't know if that part's supposed to be funny. It sounds kind of fucking stupid. It's one of the largest money makers in all of Japan and the world over. I mean, if you want to be wrong, I mean, please be wrong, but now you sound vindictive. I don't know why you're trying to shit on anime fans and the mecha fans. It sounds like you just really love the conflict. Etchy fans want you to call them cultured in their desperate attempt to turn being horny into a personality trait, which it is. No, it's it's not. And that's coming from a person that retweets nothing but anime booba on the timeline. Like, trust me, it, it's good looking art, but it's not my entire personality. I like to do other things than sit around and look at big booba all day. I think. And Isekai fans are the guy who eats McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and wonders why he's getting morbidly obese even though he occasionally orders a Diet Coke. <laughs> Yo, Gigguk is really going at you guys. He is beating your fucking ass. Yo, he's literally calling you fat and obese for liking in. <laughs> oh my God. Lesson three. You are what your avatar is. Hang on, I'm still... <laughs> I'm still recovering from the last thing you said. Holy shit. Oh my god. Th this is this is probably the funniest video. Maybe I'm wrong. Eventually, you may find an anime that you enjoy immensely and may feel like you want to express that by picking an avatar from that show to put on your social media account. However, it is highly advised against doing that as it's a surefire way to make sure nothing you say ever gets taken seriously ever again. Well, that's just blatantly untrue. She's cringe but she's my mutual, and I will not stand for this fucking slander of yours. Normally, you may see this manifest in some person blindly saying that Dragon Ball or Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer is peak fiction and unmatched by anything. And you think, huh, I wonder what kind of person would say such a hyperbolic statement. So you look at the avatar and surprise, surprise, it's a Demon Slayer avatar. <laughs> I swear it feels like parody every time I see it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what too much Twitter looks like. But this is not as bad as the biggest pitfall any anime fan can fall into. Picking a cute anime girl as your avatar. It is scientifically proven that the more anime an individual watches, the higher concentration of cute anime girls that they will see. And so, we'll eventually come to the conclusion that there is nothing more pure in life than the smile of a cute anime girl. This may lead people to believe that hiding behind the mask of a 2D anime girl may somehow cleanse them of the impurity of their image online. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't think anybody that's on Twitter that chooses an anime profile picture of a female character is trying to cleanse themselves of being, like, the thing that you're saying. Like, just trust me on this one. However, it only serves to emphasize their degeneracy, as once a waifu is picked, the cuteness of the anime girl is directly proportionate to how much of an abomination their takes are. There are some who attempt to sidestep this by choosing a berserk, vagabond, or Vinland Saga avatar, thinking that this gives them a much more respectable image than all other people. But, unfortunately, they forget 
that they still have an anime profile picture. Lesson 4. Wait, that was it? We're, we're just shitting on anime PFPs? Oh, that's right. Gigguk's above you guys. Sorry. His picture's not an anime waifu, so... I, I, I guess get fucked. Be careful where you are. There are many places you can run into anime fans online, and depending on where you do, the vibe, culture, and etiquette may totally be different. Nowadays, many fans stick to their private Discord servers where they can freely discuss their favorite anime in the safety of a closed group. YouTube is another place where you can see would-be critics give their opinions about anime. <clears throat> a for effort on the self-awareness, but you know that everyone in your group, you, you know they, they all do that, right? They try to be anime reviewers, but it comes off as them not actually, you know, caring about the thing that they're doing. They don't actually know about the anime, instead they make up shit about something that they supposedly watched or read. It happens all the time, especially in your circles. But if you want to get involved in the conversation itself, good luck getting past the top comment, which will inevitably be a funny quote from the video or a comment from just some guy without a mustache. If those conversations don't seem mentally stimulating enough, many venture off to a space like Reddit, my anime list, or anime planet. I don't use any of those other sites. I only use my anime list, and every once in a blue moon you find a review that actually is worth reading. That's the only thing of value that you'll find. But if you go on Reddit, I don't know what you're really expecting, and I don't know shit about Anime Planet, so guess I'm not a real anime fan, bros. Generally, the people here have seen more anime than your average user, leading to potentially more stimulating discussions. However, that is rarely the case, and in time they will realize that the only difference between them and YouTube comments is that YouTube comments actually realize that they are a bunch of apes. Bros, he is literally shitting on you! And, again, the, the Gigguk fans, I don't know if they know any better, but... <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, he's literally shitting on you guys, and you're not going to see anything wrong with it. What are you going to do, unsubscribe from him, you little stupids? Of course you're not. Remember, he's the funny guy, and me, well, I'm just some fucking shithead behind an anime girl avatar. But this is all nothing compared to Twitter, a website full of people so free-thinking, so open-minded, their brains have literally fallen out. Twitter is a place where people can air out their most private and intimate thoughts you'd only share to your closest friends and relatives whom you absolutely trust in a completely public space that anyone can see. Okay, just so we can escape the Twitterverse, because it's going to be in the next couple of whatever is you're going to say, let us understand one thing and one thing only. Twitter is literally like a toilet. You do your business, and then you leave. Any further that you stick around is your own undoing. So if brains are falling out, that's not a result of the website. That's a result of you. You can just go somewhere else. I again, I hate to use the terminology of going outside and touching some fucking grass, but y you kind of have to. You can do a million other things other than spend your time on the Bird app and then looking at what anime fans say. In fact, I just look at what they draw, and then I retweet it. That's about the only use I really get out of it besides talking to the mutuals. And we all love our mutuals here, at least that you would hope. Now, I will say that if you're going to talk about private thoughts that should be kept private, I think that one of the tweets that you showed from your uh, significant other should probably be kept private, not because it's just batshit insane, but because it's just fucking stupid and cringe. I don't know. That's just a me thought, though. Doesn't really add anything. Just thought I'd follow it up with how vitriolic this entire video can be. Discussing anime on Twitter is like taking a dump in the urinal. Yeah, you can technically do it, but why would you ever think that that's a good idea? You'll probably get a myriad of answers, but one of the ones that you'll see is that it's funny. This is the place where you can see anime takes that make you question some people's ability for sentient thought. The problem is that most people are barely able to articulate themselves in normal conversations, let alone with 280 characters. The secret here is to only have opinions on the extreme end. Normally, people may refer to this as a hot take, but Twitter users often use this opportunity to make a set yourself on fire take. If you're scared doing this will offend someone, don't worry, as Twitter has its own version of Sturgeon's Law. 90% of everything you say will offend someone. Yeah? So what? If they get offended at everything that I do, then they need to get a life. I don't know. I, I don't really fucking care. If they get mad, I mean, what am I going to do? Tell them to not get mad about it? <laughs> I mean, th this is fucking stupid. This may make it sound like there is no safe refuge to discuss your passions online, but fear not, as there is still one place pure and untainted that may be the last bastion of hope where you can have constructive discussions with strangers online.
the Pornhub comment section. Okay, two things here. Who's using Pornhub in the Lord's year? And also, they're not that civil if you keep scrolling down a little bit. In fact, if I look at any other um, pornographic site that may include something like hentai in it, those aren't all that great either. And trust me, I've been around. And that's everything you need to know about interacting with anime fans. Soon enough, you'll be a master at this and realize that you don't even watch anime anymore. You just make fun of people who do online. Failing all this, there is one surefire way to protect yourself from any anime fan. A secret technique passed down through the ages that is a surefire way to let people know that your tastes are superior and immaculate compared to any anime fan you ever talk to. Final lesson. Just say you read manga. Wow. All that build up for you guys to think it was a haha -ha funny joke, but instead it was just Giguk for the whole video, shitting on all of you for whatever you may enjoy, and him saying that he doesn't want to talk to you fucking people, he thinks you're all weird, or stupid, or both. But, I mean, sure, people can be both at the same time, but making a whole video about how mad you aren't, and how above them you are, is kind of fucking cringe. I'm sorry, but I think that if people want to have a discussion about the anime that they like, they will probably do it amongst their friends. I assume that people have friends. But again, there's always Discord, and you didn't want to touch on that other than, well, these things that these communities exist in are on Discord, and you can talk there safely. So why didn't we bring that up? I know this is supposed to be haha, funny man Giga, he makes the funny videos, he's so funny, but he's not funny to me. I don't think he's ever been funny to me. In fact, this video is probably the funniest thing because it's not even the content that is funny, it's that he shit on pretty much every anime fan. And whether you'd like to admit it or not, Giguk fans, he hates you, and he wanted you to know that in this video. And you could say, well, you think you're taking things out of context, he never said that. I don't know, Chief, you watch through the video again and tell me. It's, it's gonna be linked, don't you worry. And I'm sure you're going to tell me all about it while Muffler Guy is behind me making a fucking racket. So, I guess all in all, if you really want to go through the rest of this video, there's not that much, but my final thoughts are, enjoy the anime that you enjoy, and if you want to talk about anime, I don't think that people are as eager to shit on you as Giguk would like you to believe. In fact, I would think that more people are more open-minded, except if you get into some very, very weird clout chases, then it gets a little weird because you'll see the same three tweets recycled. But again, do not go on Twitter. Do not go on Reddit. All of those places are terrible. If you watch something, just talk about it with a friend and then you'll feel a little bit better. And I would especially stay away from anti-tuber content. I know that I will be because uh, I got some videos that I'm gonna be working on and it's gonna require a lot of time. So with that being said, friends, I'll see you guys in the next positive video. We're going to be positive, I promise. Wait, I wasn't really all that negative in this video, but somehow, somewhere, it'll end up me being negative, so just have fun with it.